Hey everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and this is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot for Saturday, July 17th, 2021. And as always, I'm looking for a message to help heal our souls as well. So, of course, it would go well beyond any day, any time. Okay, Saturday, July 17th, okay, so three cards, and our center card will be the theme, so we have the two of wands, our theme is the queen of pentacles reversed, and then we have the Four of Cups. Okay, Four of Cups reversed. So with the Queen of Pentacles as the theme, but coming through reversed, well, that can be sometimes a little bit of self-neglect or worrying too much about money. There's that possibility. I... To to help matters, what we would want to do would be to um, just get inside of really practical ways to tend to our resources. So if it's, you know, just things around your house, if it's your finances, it's to make sure you're checkbooks balanced, you know, or your checking account, your your accounts are balanced. Make sure I uh, you have extra um you know food and stuff, storage, things that can last a couple of years in, you know, in your pantry. Or or if you don't have a pantry or have enough room, even like some place you can put it um in in your space where where I'm um, you have some storage so that that way you can relax and and be in that place of gratitude because when she comes through reversed there's there's worry and i think there's worry about resources and that's especially true when we have the 2 of wands here because with the 2 of wands we're we're planning we're waiting we have choices but we can be a little restless. So if we get to the place where we're really solid, where we are really solid and we've, we're taking care of our body, there's lots of good self-care, accounts are balanced, storage, stocked up supplies, storage, things like that, um, you know, e extra water, enough water to at least last for a couple weeks. I'm... Um, all those things, if we start working on all of those things, then our planning can go much better. To me, this combination here, if we didn't even have the Four of Cups reversed, it would be, don't try and look forward. Don't try and progress in any new place until you get this under control here. You know what I mean? Um, get your finances under control. Make sure that you're uh, living within your means. Uh, make sure, like I said, you've got the stocks on hand or things stocked up so that um, you can relax. And then either go travel or, uh, if you can afford that, or plan on looking at new ways of earning a living if you want to do that. But take good care of yourself every step of the way. Because that that if you do that, if you get your home base under control, then you know, and home base I mean your your body and your home, then I uh, you won't worry. You won't worry. Because this card reverse can be about worrying about those things. So with the four of cups reversed, bringing in this card, flanked over here by this two of wands. And, you know, our theme being self-care and taking care of our resources, being resourceful. With this Four of Cups reversed, that brings in this other little piece of being more proactive with life. 
being more focused and taking some action and having some new goals. You know, because when the Four of Cups is reversed, I'm straight up, This and here's a perfect example of it's better to have it reversed. <laughs> when it's straight up, this is a card of apathy, of not caring. And if it were, you know, straight up this way with this card, I would say really, really strongly that we have to take better care of our bodies. Um, because apathy and inertia are, you know, it's just, that's not a good way to go. We really do have to care. But it came through reversed, so there's a new goal. So it really feels to me like I'm, <laughs> on the spiritual level, for a timeless meaning, it's all about, you know, like I just said, uh, taking really good care of ourselves and having our home base solid before we branch out. You know, before we branch out. And... But we have this new initiative, this new goal to, to do that. And so, again, like on the spiritual level, it's just it's really important to have yourself, uh, to take care of yourself, to know how to take care of yourself, to uh, be in the details of your the foundation of your home and your body before you start any new journey. Because it will be the place that you go back to all the time. And, you know, most of us are all working from home nowadays anyway. So this could be on another level, this new goal to get your home exactly the way you want it so that you can not worry about it and then you can move forward to this brand new project, whatever it is. So, okay, well, that's all I have for today. Thanks, you guys. Take good care. Bye.